Hey everybody and welcome. So I've noticed on the latest Radeon software and drivers that they have removed the feature to allow switchable graphics from a internal CPU, GPU graphics system and dedicated graphics to one chip system to allow you to switch from either using your Vega graphics or your dedicated discrete graphics to pick your game to use this graphics or that graphics so now it's just using whatever is the maximum power ability some other people are saying that you can probably use the Windows uh, game mode system but some people are saying that it doesn't work it actually does now I'm gonna do EVE Online on BIN 64 TQ and show you that is going to be using right now for the first is going to be using the Vega 8 graphics so power save mode then I'll turn it off and switch to the high performance and you'll see that it'll use these graphics so here we go So this game allows you to see frame rate, latency, and the graphics chip that you are using by Control F. So you can see it's using Vega A graphics. I'm going to turn this off and switch it to Radeon. And I have to close it. Now I'm going to switch it to the Radeon and reboot it. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there you guys go. So there is your ability to switch your graphics still for Radeon or even NVIDIA if they have removed that switchable option. You just now have to use the Windows game mode uh, graphics switcher. Now it will, it will be kind of annoying because you do have to go to the Pacific um, application driver area that you are booting the game up. So say if you're using like the like some other place where you're using the launcher, it's not gonna do that for the launcher. I already tried it right here. It didn't boot up to using the 60-bit version or anything like that. So I had to go to the actual directory that it boots the launcher boots to to actually be able to get the game to process that it's I want this GPU to run on this program so if you have to dig through that's pretty much how you gotta have to do it sadly but it works and it's pretty nice now the let Windows to set uh, decide would pretty much just run on high performance um, depending on like if you're using like uh, your power options from a laptop or something like that most time from a desktop it's just gonna max out to the high performance 
but if you want to use the low power internal um, GPU you will have to use it for this if you're using a desktop anyways thank you guys for watching peace out